Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 22 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Alright, we're still in like the early part of GX, so let's go to Doomsday Duel. Chancellor Shepard, the Chief Administrator of Duel Academy, called Jaden, Bastion, Alexis, Chaz, Dr. Crowler, Professor Banner, and Zane to his office. He wanted to warn them about the Shadow Riders and the power of the Three Sacred Beast cards. Three Sacred what cards? Sacred Beast cards! Due to their immense power and their colossal might, they were hidden here at the Academy. You see, this Academy was built in parts to protect the Sacred Beast cards. They were buried deep underground, their power sealed safely away. Legend says if these cards ever see the light of day, Terrible things will happen. Our world will be no more. No more? So this is why the seven of you are here. To protect these three cards from the Wicked Ones. The Wicked Ones? That's right. Seven duelists known as the Shadow Riders who covet these cards. I have heard of these Shadow Riders. They are no joke. You must be careful. Okay. So how do we protect these cards? by protecting the seven spirit gates. To get to the cards, one must unlock these gates. And to unlock them, one must gain the seven keys for the seven gates. That is how we will protect those cards, by protecting the keys. And here they are, one for each of you to guard. Children, this is an important responsibility, for me as well. We hold the keys? Won't that make us targets? It's true. With these keys, the Shadow Riders will seek you out. Uh, seek us out? You mean take us out? Only in a duel. Fortunately for our side, the keys can not simply be stolen. An ancient edict commands the keys must be won in a duel. And so, I've called on our school's seven best to take up this challenge and fight the good fight. Later that evening, Jaden and Alexis were transported to a volcano where they encountered the first Shadow Rider. Where are we? In one very weird dream. Or a nightmare. <laughs> it's neither. What's going on? You mean you don't know? Call me a slow learner. Call me Night Shroud. I'll be the one taking that key you have around your neck. Even though we can't see it because the game developers didn't put in a sprite for that. Wow! You guys don't waste, waste much time, do ya? I'll get that key, and I'll get it now! Oh, and just to make sure of that, I brought friends. What's that mean? Say hello to Cyrus and Chumley. Looks like they're in hot water. Or maybe I should say hot molten lava. But then... Such is the nature of a shadow game, Key Keeper. A shadow game? Listen, just duel me, but let them go. I don't think so. I need them to ensure a speedy match. After all, that protection orb they're in? Let's just say it's not exactly built to last. Oh, and I'm afraid that there's more. Also at stake is your soul, which will be sealed in this card when you lose. Of course, if I lose, then my soul will be sealed. But hey, let's be honest with ourselves. Me lose? No way. Now then, shall we? You can't agree to this! Tell that to Cyrus and Chumley! They're about to become meatballs in a lava stew! They're my friends, and I'm not gonna let that happen to them. Or us. Besides, it's not like this is my first shadow game. I'm just hoping it doesn't hurt as bad as the others. Okay, pal. You wanna do, duel? You got it. Let's throw down. Get your game on. Alright, so the three sacred beasts, they kind of look like the Egyptian god cards, but they had like different names. The blue one, I believe, was Rafa Raphael. The red one was Uriah. And the yellow one was Hamon. Oh wow, I got two mirror forces right away. Spear Dragon? Uh, that's a 
pretty powerful attacker, and it can do piercing. Alright. E emergency call. Add one elemental hero monster from your deck to your hand. That might be something I have to do. Luckily, I have two of them. But who should I bring in? Ooh, this has piercing damage as well. What else do I have? Elemental Hero Wild Heart, which is unaffected by trap effects. Hmm. I could bring in Blade Edge at some point. But at the same time, it wouldn't hurt to consider... Clayman? Because at least I'll be able to defend. I don't feel comfortable just wasting a uh, mirror force on one spear dragon. But I'll keep one down anyway, just in case he brings in something stronger. I do take that mask on Night Shroud, though. Wouldn't hurt to destroy two of them at once. You know what? I think that's what I'm gonna do. There, he's got nothing else. So now, I know what my next move is gonna be. Let's bring in Emergency Call. I'm gonna add Blade Edge to my hand. Then we'll play Monster Reborn to bring back a Spear Dragon. Alright, all things considered, I would actually do more damage if I attack with these two monsters at once. Only by like 100 more, but still, it's the principle that counts. Now it's time to bring in Elemental Hero Blade Edge. I'll bring in a backup Hero Force too. If somehow this monster gets destroyed by a single card. Okay, this little guy likes to use dragons. Doesn't have many traps though. Oh, another Blade Edge. How kind of you, game. I probably won't need two in a row. Black Dragon's Chick. Luckily, if you send this face-up card you control to the graveyard, special summon one red eyes. Okay, it was face down, so the effect does not apply. I think we got this duel in the bag depending on what his next move is. He, he literally has nothing to protect him. I think we're gonna run away with this. Troop Dragon. And we didn't get to use his effect anyway, which allowed him to special summon a Troop Dragon from the deck to the side of the field. It just would have kept his deck, like his field filled with monsters to some way that's game sigh chumley Jaden collapsed to the ground as everyone else were transported outside the volcano we're alive what the he did it Jaden did it yeah but where's Jaden look over there Jaden wake up He's not moving! Come on, Jay! Sigh, he's fine. Tired, maybe, but who could blame him? Not me. I'm tired, and I didn't do a thing. He's okay, which is more than I can say for Night Shroud. Alexis knows another body laying in the distance. Alexis. It can't be. It's him. I thought I lost him, but he's back. 
He's finally back! My brother is back! That card took away whatever darkness was holding him! Yep, so Night Shroud was actually Atticus, who was possessed. Like, it even tells you right there, Masked Atticus. Like, they didn't even try to hide it. <laughs> Alright, now we're on to Field of Screams. The second Shadow Rider, Camula, or Cam Camula, yeah, I think it's Camula, defeated Dr. Crowler and Zane, taking both their spirit keys and trapping their souls into dolls. It was up to Jaden to put an end to her madness. Alright, Camula. I'm here for my friend's souls. And why not leave until I get them? Truth be told, dear. You're not leaving here ever again. Not a single one of you are. Camula! Get your game on! And I mean on high! Because when someone duels my pals and turns their souls into some dolls, it puts me in a bad mood. How very specific, like, it has to be dolls to upset him. Like, turn him into, like, cans of spam, Jaden probably wouldn't mind, but as soon as it's dolls, oh, that's crossing the line. And let me tell you something! I don't care! <laughs> God, that face. Maybe this will change your mind. You wanna play rock, paper, scissors? Even though you can probably just bite my wrists? Just get yourself a good meal? Like, clearly, Camilla is supposed to be, like, Camilla or Carmilla from, like, vampire lore. Alright, what do I have here? Sparkman and Bristinatrix. I can add another elemental hero. Let's see what I got in the fusion deck. Wild Heart and Blade Edge. Okay, well, I don't have either of those. That would come in handy. Thunder Giant. Okay, Avian, Sparkman, and Bubble Man to create Tempest. Okay, yeah, I only have one of those. But it looks pretty good. You can send one other card you control to the graveyard to target one monster you control. While this card is face up on the field, that monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Shining Flare Wingman looks pretty damn good. You need Sparkman with that, of course. Okay, this card gains 300 attack for each elemental hero in your card in your graveyard. When this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the destroyed monster in the graveyard. We also have Rampart Blaster, which is Bristinatrix and Clayman. This card can attack while in face-up defense position, but only if your opponent controls no monsters. And if it does, this card's attack is halved during damage calculation only. There's Mudball Man. Okay, I gotta think about my options here. Flame Wing Man. I'm thinking Flame Wing Man might actually be a strong choice. And if I get another Polymerization, I can get Shining Flare Wing Man before you know it. So let's start things off by getting an Elemental Hero Avian. I want to see what else I had. Now it all hinges obviously on what she has for an opener. Hopefully it's not something that can outright whoop me. Okay, no sense for me to summon two monsters this turn. Considering sh I can't attack anyway. Alright, what do you got? You just gonna defend? Alright. I would like to get rid of that face down card though. Okay. Hopefully it has low defense but really good attack. Then I can do some damage either way. 
Let's bring an elemental hero spark man for backup. Oh, zero defense. Along with 1800 attack. That's a pretty good bite. I dig that. Zombie master. I said one month, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. I was contemplating using Monster Reborn on it to bring it back on my side. That might be a bit too early to consider. Now, this card wasn't a factor, but this one might. What was it? Vampire Takeover. If you have no card in your field zone and all face up monsters you control, minimum one, are a zombie type, activate one Vampire Kingdom directly from your deck. Then, you can special summon one Dark Vampire Monster from your graveyard in face up defense position. You can only activate one Vampire Takeover per turn. That sounds pretty nasty. I think I can finish her off now if I do this. She was unable to stop me. Oh my god, this is going to turn into a massacre. Just putting up no fight whatsoever. That was a breeze. Jaden defeated Kamula. Freeing Zane and Dr. Crowler's souls from her dolls. That's game! At least, the nightmare is finally over. This one, at least. Camula was just the second of the Shadow Riders. And that means more are on the way. I mean, he's not wrong. Alright, we got a new booster pack unlocked, and that's for Cyrus. Jeez, oh, look at that character art for him. It doesn't look blue to me. Dual distractions. Speaking of distractions, let's just buy some Cyrus cards. Oh man, I am gonna have such a time trying to curate some of these custom decks. Because if I am gonna do like the challenge duels, like challenge mode, I have to create my own deck for that. So, don't give me too many ideas yet, because chances are, A, I may not have those cards, and B, I might forget by the time I get there. Besides, it's more fun if I just create something of my own. Let's go to Dual Distractions, shall we? With two Spirit Gates already open, the Shadow Rider Tanya defeated Bastion and gained possession of his Spirit Key. After losing his duel to Tanya, Bastion became infatuated with her, and wanted a rematch to prove that he was worthy of her. Tanya. Can't you take a hint? I already dumped you, don't you remember? He wants a rematch! He can't have one, but you seem quite brave. I do? <laughs> but I'm here for my friend. He already lost. I duel you, or there's no duel. I never back down from a challenge. I'll do it for Bastion! You know the rules. If you lose this duel, you lose your spirit key and single status. Meaning you move here to this battle arena with me and become my husband forevermore. I sure hope that Jaden knows what he's doing. I sure do. And when I'm done, Bastion will know that you don't have to be in love to duel with passion. What do you say we start this, huh? Tanya really does look like one of the Gerudo ladies from Ocarina of Time. I mean, just look at that, the color of her skin, as well as, like, that long ponytail. Plus that cold demeanor in her eyes. Okay, well, I can make a flame wingman right away. But do I want to? Yes, I do. I'ma go do that.
There we go. That's a pretty good starter. Alright, target one normal monster in your graveyard. Special summon and face off defense position, but it cannot attack. You know what? I could use a diversion. It doesn't have to d attack for me. I can do this just to see if she'll still put something in attack mode. Amazon is Tiger. She bit for it. Now is she going to pay the price for leaving that open? Alright, Amazon is Tiger. You can only control one Amazon is Tiger. This card gains 400 attack for each Amazonist monster you control. Your opponent cannot attack any face-up Amazonist monsters except this one. Wait a minute. Hmm. Let me activate Fusion Gate. I don't know what those face-down cards are. But we can create Shining Flare Wingman now. And I have some elemental heroes in the graveyard, which gives it even more power. Hopefully those face down cards do not screw me. It doesn't. Awesome. Oh wow, 3100 attack points. That is out of control. I don't think she has anything that can outmuscle this. And those face down cards are not going to help her either. Rottweiler. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, target one elemental hero card and one polymerization in your graveyard. Add both those targets to your hand. That seems like a pretty good card. Could allow me to continue to fuse. There's just an Amazonist Paladin. Yeah, that seems to be her archetype Amazonist cards. And it seems like the crux of their bit of their capabilities is to increase their attack power the more of those same cards that are there. There. She didn't have a trap hole either. Amazon's trainee. Alright. Monsters destroyed by battle with this card are returned to the bottom of the deck instead of going to the graveyard. If this card... Okay. Destroyed by battle with this card. Okay. She didn't destroy me. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, it gains 200 attack. At this one, I should have just flipped some of this. Oh well. But it seems she still does not have an answer. I think we're done. Amazon is fighter. Luckily, that was effect damage and not battle damage, so I win anyway. <laughs> I guess that's game. Let me know if you ever want a rematch. No rematch. I joined the Shadow Riders to find a duelist who would be worthy to be my husband. But I've discovered I am not worthy to be with someone strong as you. Farewell, Bastion. Well then, I guess that this is it. Boy, Bastion, you sure know how to pick him. Don't worry, buddy. There's plenty of fish in the sea. All of a sudden, Mako just shows up for no reason. <laughs> and there we go. That's pretty damn awesome. We made, like, so much progress going through, like... What? Did we go through, like, three duels in, like, less than 25 minutes? Oh, Titan is back, apparently. And it looks like I'm going to be dueling as Alexis in the next video. Alright, stay tuned for that. Goodbye everyone, thanks for watching.